<laughs> okay, moving on to the third trainer, we have Last Tammy. Well, she doesn't give a hint right there at this moment, but if I'm not mistaken, she has, um... Okay, she has dual-type Pokémon, that's what it is. So what we have to do here is exploit the weaknesses of her dual-type Pokémon. So, looking at her team, the best choices we have here are Mareep, Wooper, and Spinark. Surprisingly, they're the basic Pokémon, they're not the evolved forms like Quagsire, Electabuzz, and Kingler. Kingler does have Fury Cutter, but it's a water type, so it would be devastating to use it against like Blossom, Sunflora, Tangela, or Meganium. So with that in mind, the first Pokemon we're gonna... Hmm. I'm actually not sure which one to start with. I think I'm gonna start with Spinark, just in case. I can easily switch Pokemon, but yeah, you need Mareep, Wooper, and Spinark. Or Mareep, I'm not sure how you say that. I think it's Mareep, though. But anyway, I'm starting with Spinark, because most of them are grass Pokemon. I think she's only going to pick one grass Pokemon, and then the other two. Uh, Mag Cargo and Gyarados. Because they were the dual types she was referring to. And she started with Mag Cargo, so I picked the wrong choice. Switching to Wooper. And Wooper has Surf, so it'll be twice as... Well, it'll do quadruple damage, actually, against Mag Cargo. Boy, what's up with that Pokemon? It certainly is popular. Show us how hot your heart burns. You would burn me. And no, I don't want to talk about heartburn right now. That's a terrible thing to talk about. Unless we're gonna sing show tunes and talk about how your heart's on fire. <laughs> but heartburn, no thank you. We did take out Mad Cargo, though. Mad Cargo's special defense is luckily not as high as its regular defense. And she has a Tangela. Or Tangela. It's either Tangela or Tangela. Again, I'm not big on the pronunciation, so I don't really care, but I'll say it either way just to make people happy. Tangela, Tangela. Uh, it's another Pokemon that does have very high defense. So even though I have a Spin Arc. Or Spin Arac, I'm sorry. Why do I always call it Spinark? It's it's always been Spinarak. I'm being stupid. It's one of those uh, blonde moments, I guess you could say. I'm I'm not blonde though. <laughs> yeah, it has Giga Drain, so it's gonna restore just a little bit of health. But yeah, Spinarak has Sludge Bomb. I wonder. I wonder if I did call it Spin Arc in the past. I don't know how, but sometimes I miss the A, and it's it has uh, two A's in its name, and I sometimes miss the second A that it has. But yeah, it's pronounced Spin Arc. Now that one, I'm gonna say how to pronounce the right way, because it's very basic. And with that. Tangela slash Tangela is now out. And the last Pokemon is Gyarados, just like I predicted, because it was a dual type. And we're going to use Mareep slash Mareep, whatever it might be. I'm going to say Mareep, though, because it sounds cooler. And it's a cute sheep. You can't go wrong with sheep. Uh, this one, Flaffy and Ampharos, do have slightly lower speeds than most Pokémon, though. They're not terribly low, but they're not the best, either. It's a surprise, because they're electric Pokémon. And it's going to use Dragon Rage against me. But we have Thunderbolt, so we'll easily be able to take it out with that.
And because it's water and flying, that will do quadruple damage. And one more Thunderbolt will easily take it out. Thunderbolt away. Zeus is calling for you. <laughs> Not really, but that's all I could think of at the moment. A lot of people do debate. I'll talk about this here in a moment. Um, that was the end of the battle, by the way. And for this particular battle, if you missed it, you need Mareep, Spinark, and Wooper as your choices. Those are the three Pokemon needed to defeat this trainer and earn a star. You, you can too, lose. Oh, anyway, the topic I was going to talk about here is um, a lot of people debate whether or not Thunder is better than Thunderbolt, as well as um, Fire Blast over Flamethrower and Blizzard compared to Ice Beam. By the way, let's move on to youngster Dustin. We're going to use moves that'll hit the Pokemon, even when they're using Fly and Dig. But yeah, a lot of people say... Uh, that Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower are better because they have 100% accuracy and still do high damage. A damage of 95. But, uh... If you're gonna look at it power-wise, Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire Blast are the best. Even though, um, they have lower accuracies. Uh, Fire Blast is slightly better than the other two because its accuracy is 85%. But, uh, the other two are 70%. But yeah, a lot of people like to consider that Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and uh, Ice Beam are better just because they have an accuracy of 100% and still do 95 base damage. I just thought that was interesting to bring up. Oh wait, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I don't even know which Pokemon to go with yet. Well, actually I do. I, I actually do know which Pokemon to pick. Uh, they're going to use Fly and Dig, so we need to have Pokemon that can still hit them. Oh, uh, we have Seedra with a Twister. That'll work when the Pokemon flies in the air. Uh, Lock On and Zap Cannon. That will work. And Aerodactyl has Earthquake, so that'll work on a Pokemon using Dig. So, what have we got here? We have four Pokemon that will use Dig and two that will use Fly. I'm going to start with Aerodactyl. No, take that back. No, I will go with Aerodactyl. And then Magneton and Seedra. So yeah, the choices here are Seedra, Magneton, Aerodactyl. I'm going to leave with Aerodactyl, though. Because most of them will know Dig, as opposed to Fly. He'll probably leave with Dragonite, though, now that I think about it. Yep, wrong choice. Question of the century, do I outspeed it? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Earthquake's not going to work, it's a flying type. Yeah, that was stupid of me. But, I'm going to switch to Seedra. Because Twister is a dragon move, and Dragon is super effective against Dragon, oddly enough. That's how the type matchups work on here. Uh, the same as Ghost against Ghost. That's also super effective. And wow, that did a lot of damage. Because that was poor planning on my part. Hopefully that's not going to cost me this battle. Twister will do double damage when it's in the air. And it'll still hit it. Go ahead and use another Twister here. As you can see, that did quite a lot of damage. Oh, I fainted. Darn it. Well, I'll have to use Magneton. I don't have a choice here. I don't remember what Magneton's speed is. I don't think it's high, but I don't think it's low either. I think it's average. But, it is implying that you use... Oh, shoot. 
Oh, thank you for moving out of view. Because now I can't lock on to you. Okay, so apparently Dragonite is faster. Okay, lock on. The reason I'm using lock on first is because Zap Cannon's accuracy is only 50%. And even if it flies in the air this time, we'll still be able to hit it since we just used locked on. Er, lock on. I'm sorry. Zap Cannon away. And that took it out. I will need to switch if it's going to use uh, something other than Skarmory. Because I'm sure it has a lot of ground Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm switching. I have a feeling it knows Dig because it obviously isn't going to know Fly. It's strange because it's a duck. Uh, Golduck's another one of those highly popular Pokemon. It actually resembles the legendary Japanese monster of, like, myths of real Japanese folklore. And I think that goes hand in hand with its popularity as well. But it is a pretty cool Pokemon outfit. It, it does look cool. And Dig does not affect Aerodactyl. Because it was underground, Dig, er, not Dig, Earthquake did twice as much damage. And you can still hit it even though it uses Dig. And it goes into the ground yet again. We'll use another Earthquake. That'll easily take it out. Yeah, that actually does look like it would hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Okay, and there's one Pokemon remaining here. We have Skarmory. I cannot damage it with Aerodactyl. We're switching back to Magneton. And I'm sure that Skarmory will outspeed Magneton. Maybe. I think it will, actually. I'll go ahead and use Lock On. Oh no, Magneton's faster. How about that? Would not have guessed that. Okay, now that it's back down on the ground, I can use Lock On properly. And it's going to fly back up in the sky. And I used Lock On, so Zap Cannon's going to hit it. And it's super effective since it's a flying Pokemon. And that's all it took to take it out. So Skarmory is down. You are in danger. <laughs> and that'd be the end of the battle. There's only one more trainer left in the gym leader class. So yeah, I guess it's wise to not lead with Aerodactyl. I'm actually pretty sure he does start with Dragonite now that I think about it. I think that is his like favorite Pokemon. But yeah, in that case you should leave with Seedra. But yeah, the three Pokemon you need are Seedra, uh, Magneton, and Aerodactyl. Because they're the ones that have moves that can hit Pokemon that use Fly and Dig. And our last trainer is Schoolboy Nolan. And apparently he's going to use Pokemon with low defenses. So this is the final trainer of the Gym Leader class. We have a full team of Psychic Pokemon, and he has Pokemon with high special defense. Every one of those. Chansey, Ladybug, Helikid, Clefairy, Ladian, and Blissey, they all have high special defense. So, looking at our team, we have a Staryu, which 
which has Swift and Light Screen. Gengar only has Psychic, Alakazam has Psybeam Reflect, Mr. Mime has Headbot Light Screen, Hypno has Psychic Future Sight, and Jinx has Bloody Slam. So, with that in mind, the only thing is all three of these Pokemon don't have very high attacks. I mean, Star uses is relatively good. The other two kind of suck. Uh, but uh, the three Pokemon you want to use are Staryu, Mr. Mime, and Jinx. And... I'll lead with Staryu. And the other two, as I said, are Mr. Mime and Jinx. And this is the last Gym Leader class battle. I'm very positive he uses both Chansey and Blissey. Oh, but he starts with an Elekid. Uh, number one thing I'm going to use is Light Screen. And he's going to Mimic us. Ha, mimic's a move, but that's not what I meant. He, let me change that. He copied us. I thought of it first. <laughs> and we'll use Swift. Oh, by the way, on a side note, I hate people who copy me. <laughs> um... I've had a lot of that happen to me during my own, like, personal life. And it really gets annoying anymore when somebody does that to me. It, it's very annoying, actually. But, I, yeah, I hate people who copy me. I actually had, um... It was a few years ago, actually. I had, um, a friend who, uh... Um... I'm trying to remember... Well, I'm not going to give any names first off, because that's not the right thing to do online. But, um, uh, he found out that I, uh, like drawing. Well, before that, he made a comment that, uh, uh, he hated art and that he didn't like to draw. Well, as soon as he found out that I liked drawing, he went out of his way, and next thing I knew, that I seen him, and he had the same exact colored pencils, sketchbook, and even, like, the same scissors as what I had. Like, everything was exactly the same as my stuff. And I was a little creeped out by that. I thought that was weird. I don't know what you think, but that's definitely weird when somebody, like, who swears that they hate something and then turn around and like it because you like it. Th that gets annoying, I think. And I've had that happen to me a lot in my life. But yeah, I, I don't like people who copy me. That's... When I said about the word Mimic, that's what reminded me of that. And speaking of Mimic, what that does on Pokémon is it copies one of the foe's moves so that your Pokémon can use that move during the battle. And our Light Screen fell, so I'm going to have to use Light Screen again. This time we got Mr. Mime. Uh, Mr. Mime is actually one of my mom's favorite Pokémon. She likes him a lot for some reason. I don't know why. It's actually funny because it goes um, hand in hand with uh, the Pokemon anime. Uh, Ash Ketchum's mom, uh, Delia Ketchum's her name. Uh, one of the Pokemon she keeps around the house is a Mr. Mind that she got from the wild. It just happened to come to her doorstep on one episode. But that was funny because uh, my mom also likes Mr. Mind, and so does Ash's mom. <laughs> Not implying that I'm like Ash. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. She likes Mr. Mime a lot. I... He's alright. Not one of my favorites, though. There are better psychic Pokemon than Mr. Mime, in my opinion. Such as Espeon and... Kadabra and Mr. Mime. Er... Pfft. I almost said Mr. Mime. I'm trying to find others besides it. Um... I meant Kadabra and Alakazam. <laughs> And the other one I could think of was Jinx. I, Jinx is even better than Mr. Mime, in my opinion. And one more headbutt will take out Blissey. Aye, 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 That almost sounds like um, the sa same sound that Xena makes, the warrior princess. And I was right, he has both Chansey and Blissey. Yeah, when he said that, that's what that made me think of. Uh, the Xena battle cry. Ay -ay 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 -ay! <laughs> I will never duplicate that again. <laughs> wow, that was so retarded. 
Eh, it's not really retarded, it's just kind of silly, I think. It is cool how she can do that, though. It's been forever since I've seen that show, though. I'm not even going to bother with light screen here. Um, I think one more headbutt will easily take out Chansey. Chansey and Blissey have a reputation of being known to have the highest HP of any Pokemon. And yes, I did hit the weak spot. Not that it would have mattered. They have low defense anyway. Yeah, that remark he made. Ay 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 ay! <laughs> Anyway, for this battle, if you missed it, you needed Staryu, Mr. Mime, and Jinx. Even if you don't use all three, those are the three required, because those are the only three that have physical moves. And with that, all of the Gym Leader class trainers have been defeated! Psychic-type Pokémon using physical attacks? I haven't learned formulas like that yet. Well, you better get used to it. And yes, it was better for them to have physical attacks, because they all had sp high special defense. So that wouldn't have worked so well to use special moves. Anyway, that's it for all the Gym Leader class trainers. There's no others, these are the only five. And that only leaves the Elite Four class trainers. So until next time, this is Tome Wonderland, and I will be back for the rest of the Pokémon Academy. Until then, keep training your Pokémon really hard.